Hey folks, just a quick update on natural gas if you couldn't make it to the live stream. And I think the last time I updated on the live stream was when we were right at the bottom here. So we've bounced up significantly from there and we had quite a sharp move up yesterday with that very, it's almost like a V-shaped bottom really going on, up back up above the trend line. But notice on the four hour chart, this is the Pepperstone spot price. We're below the 20 period moving average and a long way below the 50, the 100 and the 200 and all the channel lines and resistance lines above us. So we've got to, We've got to get a wiggle on really and force our way up through it. But the good news is that this last candle, as we speak, has formed a spike low and it's a little bit like an expanding pattern. We might just make another little spike high, a new slightly lower low and then move up. What I'm looking to do is to buy another little bit around about $2.02, .02, maybe $2, maybe just below there if we start to form a base at that level. So I'm still a little shy of my full desired position on this and a little bit of a dip would be helpful to me to add some more. I wouldn't mind getting back to the top side of this channel and bounce off sharply from there. However, having said that, this candle looks quite constructive and I wouldn't be surprised if this is a reversal candle and we move up from here. Let's have a look at the Henry Hub chart on the day chart, Henry Hub over at the NYMEX, and this is the way it looks. And I explained in the live stream that yesterday's candle, although it's a tweezer bottom, didn't form a piercing pattern. Now, what do you want for a piercing pattern? Let me zoom right in here so you can see it properly. What we want on a piercing pattern is for a bearish candle to be followed by a bullish candle with a lower low or an equal low or even a higher low. But the important thing is that the candle body of this second candle, that was yesterday's candle, closes more than halfway above the previous bear candle. We didn't manage to do that. But we did form this almost, not quite perfect, but similar to a tweezer bottom, and we got almost halfway up. So it's almost a piercing pattern. It's almost a tweezer bottom, but it's not. So that's as good as I can give it at the moment. However, having said that, and considering the live stream, I'm allowing for dips down to 1.9, maybe 1.88, and maybe even 1.5. I don't think that's the most likely scenario. I'm not ruling out entirely. And that means that I must make provision for and allow in my risk calculations for a dip down to 1.9 or even 1.5. And that might involve hedging or adjusting my position size or taking a loss or adding some more trades to the long position, whatever it might be and it will be different for everyone's circumstance. So that's the way we are at the moment. And I like the way this looks on the four hour and the day chart. The day chart's semi-convincing. Going back to the four hour chart, this is much more convincing. Nice spike low wick candle here. And all we need now is to bust up and hold above the 20 period moving average on this four hour on the spot price. So have a fantastic weekend. And if you're a South African or Portuguese, you'll enjoy the rugby tomorrow. Going to be a great game. And I'm looking forward to that. And I'll see you on Monday or Sunday night if I do a video on Sunday. Take care. Stop, lost tight, but the games won't quit. Bagging those ounces, that 24 carat hit. Stacking like Pac-Man, chomping up those pits. Leverage on another level, don't let it slip. Air traps, nothing got to smooth like silk. Liquidity flowing, milking cash cow's milk. Golden hustle.